Βρισκόμαστε εδώ στο Κυπριακό Κοινοτικό Κέντρο, όπου σήμερα γίνεται μια πρώτη συνάντηση εδώ για ένα πολύ ενδιαφέρον θέμα για τον αυτισμό. Έχω μαζί μου τον Dr. Chris Παπαδόπουλος, and I have to turn to English now. Uh, good morning, doctor. Good morning, καλημέρα. Καλημέρα, καλημέρα. Uh, Before we go further, give us a few uh, details about yourself. Who, okay. who are you? I mean, uh, you're born here, a Greek Cypriot. Give us more details. Yeah, I was, I was born in London in 1979. My parents are refugees from the 1974 Turkish invasion of Cyprus. And uh, I was raised in London. I now have three children. Two of them are autistic. And because they are autistic, I wanted to create a charity to support autistic people. I also do a lot of academic work, so I'm a university lecturer. Mm -hmm. And some, some of the things that I do there is I teach a lot of students and I talk about autism and mental health and I do a lot of research on autism as well. Okay, so, uh, but you formed this uh, charity, yeah? That's right. Give us about, uh, more details about the charity. I mean, you formed the charity for um, some reasons. Yes. So uh, when my son was diagnosed uh, in 2013, he was about three or four years old. And at the time I didn't know anything about autism. And I wanted to meet other fathers who were in this world as well. So I could connect and learn. But I couldn't find any other fathers. All of the charities were national or very, very small locally. And I couldn't find people. So I decided to make the London Wise charity. And through this, I started to build the community. And today we have three and a half thousand members and they are all around London and different, and it's different people. So parents, autistic people, educationalists, and every so often, every month, we do different events, community events like this one today. This one today is specifically aimed at the Greek and Greek Cypriot community because we want to try to destigmatize autism. And we think maybe in the Greek community, there's maybe not so much understanding about autism. So the idea is to build a community in the, in the Greek uh, space and do these kinds of events so that Greek autistic people can come and meet and connect and feel happier and learn. This is the sort of thing. Do you have any help uh, getting help from uh, the authorities? Or? Help from the what? From authorities, you know, I mean like, uh, you know. Yes, so there is help available for families but you have to apply you have to be intelligent and you have to be resilient you know so it means you have to have a lot of energy and there's a lot of fighting and battling you can do it if you have a lot of battle energy and you're ready and if you're lucky because everything is geared in some way or another and you need to know the system but there's also a bit of a lottery so some areas give you more or you're more likely to get support from some areas locally than others And sometimes you get the support, but the support is not very good. You know, it's nothing really substantial. And this is the idea of the charity, is really to give something substantial that really helps people every day in their lives. So we do a lot of help with mental health as well. We have a radio show, we have a befriending scheme, so we connect people. And the most important thing is really to connect people so that they feel less lonely and they learn from each other and they have better mental health. Because if they have better mental health, then everything follows, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, at the moment, you started today, this is the first event you're doing for the Greek Cypriot commu Greek community. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for the uh, people who might be interested to know more about it and get some help. Did you find it difficult to, um, you know, uh, Uh, find some people to join you or uh, you already have plenty of people? What is the situation at the moment? So, um, good question. So, it, we have a lot of support, thankfully, from LGR, London Greek Radio. So, we contacted LGR and we said to them, look, we want to try and build some connections with the Greek community and improve understanding in the Greek community. LGR, we discussed it and we decided, why don't we do a monthly radio show? So on this radio, uh, on the LGR, we have a monthly show called All About Autism and we talk about everything with autism. And through that, people have contacted us and expressed an interest to support us. With this, we built some volunteers and we said, look, let's get together in person once a month and actually connect in person. So slowly, slowly, with the support of uh, different organizations like LGR and Barigergi, we have built, uh, we'd be able to build the community. 
Okay. What are your plans for the future? Mm. So every month we will have this community cafe here in the Cypriot Centre in Wood Green. But we also know there are many other Greek communities in London. It's not just in Wood Green. So we plan to raise some more funds, which we need, and then open similar types of community centres all across London, particularly for the Greek community, uh, but other communities as well. Uh, this is one of our big plans. And we also want to uh, hire up some people to build the, the charity more, you know, more strongly mm -hmm. and so that we can help more and more people and expand. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Okay, Chris, uh, what is your message to our um, you know, uh, audience at the moment? Uh, might be some people there, they have the same problem. Yeah. What, do you, you want, what do you want to say to them? Yeah, what I'd like to say is that, you know, autism isn't anything bad, okay? I think there's a misunderstanding that autism is a, maybe a terrible thing and we should be really worry about, worried about it, but actually autism is a different way of thinking and experiencing the world. And being different is not necessarily bad. No. Uh, the badness comes from the lack of understanding. So when people in the community or in society don't understand and they reject you and make you feel worse, this is the problem, not the autism itself. So my advice is, if you are in a similar situation, if you are autistic or your son or your child uh, is autistic and you're not sure what to do, be positive, be hopeful and reach out to the London Autism Group Charity. This is the name of our charity. And we will connect you and help you and reach out and connect. And this is the best way of moving forward. But remember, autism is not a bad thing. It's, it's a, a very... Uh, interesting mm -hmm. and a very fantastic thing if you get the right support so and it can be done would you like to give a, a contact number or something or website or whatever yes that'd be lovely thank you so our website is london autism group charity dot org so london autism group charity dot org and our phone number is 0771 902 1766 that's 0771-902-1766. Dr. Chris Bardopoulos, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Uh, we have with us uh, Catherine West, and um, we're going to ask her a couple of questions. Um, how are you? I'm very well today. Policola. Polygala. I'm very happy that uh, you are, um, you know, learning more Greek. Yes. Every time when I see you, you, yes. you speak That's more right. and it's good. Yes. A little bit every day and I will learn Greek by the time I'm 100. Uh -huh. So, um, what do you think about this um, special charity and, and this event for today? What's special about being here today at the Cypriot Centre is the fact that this is a grassroots organisation that has adults who have autism and children who have autism and the parents are here as well. So this is like a sort of self-help approach. So it's not a medical model, it is a self-help grassroots friendship group. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing the children having a lovely time. I'm seeing the adults talking to other adults as well, supporting them. Sharing their, um, you know, might be you know, uh, shall we say, problems or uh, experiences. Feelings, experiences? That's right, yes. yes. And yeah. I think they say that um, a problem shared is a problem solved. Mm -hmm. right. exactly. And I think it's lovely to see so many options mm -hmm. because often I think with, all, with families who have children with autism, they feel very isolated because it's quite hard for children with autism to make friends. And so having this group that's set up that meets regularly it's providing a friendship group and an outlet and information guidance for parents and I think that is such an important thing. And what's lovely is because it is in the Cypriot Centre, um, there's a little bit of Greek being spoken mm -hmm. and so culturally people are getting to know that within different cultures we also have these various problems or these various challenges that we need to face together as families. So I think it's a wonderful initiative. I'd like to congratulate the Cypriot Centre for once again being at the vanguard of assistance for the community and I'm just delighted that people can come here. We've been sharing coffee, beautiful Greek pastries and some lovely figs from the trees, talking about holidays, talking about 
day-to-day -day living, talking about education, research into autism to understand it more, and it's just been a thoroughly lovely morning. Yes. Um, before um, I let you go, I saw you at the House of Commons recently, uh, last Tuesday actually, uh, where um, the uh, you know Famagusta Association has a special evening uh, to remember the you know um, uh, freedom of Cyprus. So, what are your views about that? As a member of the all-party parliamentary group on Cyprus, I was very pleased to be invited to support my colleague Stephen Doughty, who is the Shadow Minister for Cyprus, and also Fabian Hamilton, who has worked for many years on the peace process, to join together to hear the Minister for Labour from Cyprus speak to the meeting, and also to reiterate our commitment to a bi-zonal, bi-communal federation of Cyprus, and to push on the UN commitments to have peace on the island of Cyprus, and never to lose the hope that Famagusta will see justice, because the invasion of Arosha, Famagusta, and that part of Cyprus was an international event, which must never be forgotten, and we must look forward to a moment when together we can have that federation, and we can have the United Nations resolutions coming true, so that in our lifetimes we can see that bicommunal, bizonal federation come to the fore. And uh, another um, uh, different question uh, about the new, um, you know, uh, Prime Minister of England, you know, United yes. Kingdom. What do you think about that? Well, he may be better than the last one, I don't know, but it's disappointing that we have a Prime Minister that nobody voted for. And also a Prime Minister who is extremely wealthy, and I do wonder how he will understand what some of the families here today might be going through with the cost of living. So I look forward to the time when we can go back to the people, uh -huh. when we can have a general election. To be able to vote. That's right. And then at least people in the UK can have their decision time as to what is the future of our country and who should be in charge. And uh, what is your message about uh, you know, this special event for today to our community? I'd like to say to the Cypriot community, thank you, F. Karistopoli. I think it's been a fantastic event today to see the launch of the autism group, to see the support that's available for families here in the community, to have a social approach, not just a medicalised approach, to what is a challenging time for many families, particularly with the cost of living, but also to have once again the Cypriot Centre at the forefront of the um, support for families here in Woodgreen, and I look forward very much to coming back, supporting the centre, supporting all the wonderful volunteers and the workforce, and supporting the families as well in tough times. As a member of the community, I'd like to thank you very much for supporting us. Evkaristopoli. <laughs> Evkaristopoli. <laughs> Ξεκίνησε στο ελληνικό ραδιόφωνο του Λονδίνου, τον LGR, με παρουσιάστρια την Χέλε Μικελίδης, η οποία είναι μαζί μου ε, και θέλει να τη μιλήσω στα αγγλικά, έτσι, Χέλεν, ναι, how are you? Ναι, προτιμώ στα αγγλικά, είναι πιο εύκολο. Ναι, προτιμάς. Ναι. Πες μας λίγα λίγα τον εαυτό σου πρώτα. Who are you? Okay, uh, I'm a podiatrist by, uh, by profession. Um, I work downstairs from London Greek Radio. I have a clinic and uh, I've been there for six years now. Okay, and tell me about the program on LGR about autism. How it started? I mean, How it was your idea, or someone approached you? I was approached by um, Dr. Chris Babalobulos, and he um, asked if LGR would be interested in hosting a show um, about the London Autism Group charity and whether we could form. He didn't mention the cafe straight away, but he wanted to create awareness for the Greek community and remove the stigma of autism in, within the Greek community and I, I, I went upstairs and asked and they thought it was a great idea so we launched it and did a pilot show to see how everything went and just took, took it from there we'd now do it once a month do you have people interested and they, they you have callers and uh, given give them um, more information and uh, how it, uh, it works we haven't had any live callers yet, but we do get emailed throughout the show and in between the shows saying, you know, how, how people really appreciate what we're doing. They, 
they're really glad that this finally happened. We actually did have L on LGR with uh, a couple of presenters mentioned to me before any of this happened that people were ringing up and saying you have to be more autism friendly on on the radio. So. Okay, Helen, thank you very much. I wish you all the best for the show anyway. And, um, you know, I want to speak to Sophia as well. Sophia, you are um, a member of the committee of the... Yeah, I'm one of yeah. the charity volunteers. Charity, yes. And I'm helping to lead the Greek Cypriot Community Cafe. I'm also on the show on LGR. Yeah. Uh, where we're talking. Uh, what do you do? Uh, you're a student? Uh, I'm a PhD student, yeah. I'm studying psychology. Okay. And uh, what is your participation in the show on LGR? Uh, I'm an autistic adult, so I share my perspective as an autistic adult and particularly as a Greek Cypriot autistic adult. Uh, you give your um, uh, opinion or you give your experience to people? Yeah, so more my experience. We talk about different issues that are faced by autistic people and we've got different perspectives, so I give my perspective as an autistic adult. Helen talks about her son, Ellie talks about her son, Chris talks about his children, and we just have a conversation about different aspects of autism. Okay. Uh, you, would you like to give uh, our audience uh, more information about the program? I mean, when is it on and how they can get in touch with you in the program? Yeah, so the show is on the first Thursday of every month, seven o'clock on LGR. And if you go onto LGR's website, all the details about how to get in contact with us or directly with the charity are available there. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Έχουμε μαζί μας ε, και την κυρία Σούζη Κωνσταντινίδη, η οποία είναι η πρόεδρο εδώ του Κυπριακού Κοινοτικού Κέντρου. Α, καλημέρα. Καλημέρα. Καλημέρα, Ελένη. Ε, θα σα καλωσορίζω στο Κοινοτικό Κέντρο σήμερα ε, και μιλάω εκ μέρου του κέντρου ω πρόεδρο και όσο πρέπει να πω τη manager, διευθύντα Χρυσάλα Δοκίμου που θα ήταν εδώ, γιατί υποστηρίζουμε αυτή το, την πράξη που γίνεται εδώ. Γιατί για πολλά χρόνια κοιτάμε διαφορετικά προβλήματα στην παρικία και προσπαθούμε να τα διορθώσουμε ή να βοηθήσουμε. Και επειδή σήμερα είναι η πρώτη μέρα που ήρθε η ομάδα για το autism, το βρίσκομαι πολύ σημαντικό. Γιατί πολλέ φορέ, Βασίλη, και αυτό γίνεται και σε αρχή και με δοθαδασίμια και άλλα πράγματα, yeah. λευκέμια. Αλλά πιο πολύ, πο, πολλέ φορέ οι γονεί δεν έχουν υποστήριξη. Πολλέ φορέ οι άλλοι στην παρικία δεν το γνωρίζουν, δεν το γνωρίζουν και δεν το γνωρίζουν. Πολλέ φορέ είναι το λεγόμενο εγγλέζικα το στίγμα που ο κόσμο βαριέται. Τρέπονται ή δεν ξέρουν να καταλάβουν τι είναι το πρόβλημα και πώ θα βοηθήσουν. Και μένει το πρόβλημα μόνο με του γονεί και με τα παιδιά που είναι σε διάφορα στάδια. Σε έχει μεγάλη σημασία ο κόσμο να ανοίξει, να βοηθήσουν, να υποστηρίξουν και αυτό γίνεται με πολλά πράγματα. Δεν είναι μόνο επικοινωνία, είναι παιχνίδια, είναι αγάπη να καταλάβει τι εννοεί και τι του πρόβλημα. Και πολλέ φορέ οι δικοί μα οι Κυπραίοι δεν το καταλάβανε. Και αυτό είναι ένα από τα πράγματα που πρέπει να βοηθήσουμε. Εμεί του καλωσορίζουμε, εύχομαι να έρχονται πολλοί του γονεί. Ερχόντουσαν πριν, τώρα μεγαλώσαν τα παιδιά. Κρόντε στο κέντρο, πολλοί μου είπαν τώρα, ή μένανε κάτω στο Χάριγκαϊ, τώρα πήγανε Enfield, σε διάφορου τόπου, να βρίσκουν πω το κέντρο είναι κάπου που να έρθουν και να μην τραπούν. Α πούμε και τη λέξη, έχει μεγάλη σημασία, και να του βοηθήσουμε. Εύχομαι η παροικία να ακούσει αυτά και να βοηθήσουν να υποστηρίξουν. Ευχαριστούμε πολύ. Thank you, Vasily. Okay, see. <laughs>